Hey guys, we're the creators of In Absentia. I'm Jessica Silvetti. And I'm Ethan Kogan. And we're here with our very first behind the scenes look into our episodes. And this is gonna be the first of many to come. Uh, today we have a wonderful makeup artist, Rebecca Ovadia. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the episode, The Anniversary. And um, she's gonna go through some of the effects that she had in there, did some great things. And stay tuned because afterwards she has a demonstration of a very cool special effects uh, makeup example for you guys. A gunshot wound. We hope you enjoy. Hi. I'm here with Rebecca Ovadia talking about some of the makeup that she worked on on our series in Absentia. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? I went to makeup school in Burbank, California at Makeup Designery. I did everything from glamour to beauty to special effects makeup, which is kind of what landed me my role with you guys. On the episode, the anniversary, we had some practical effects. Rebecca had the very daunting task to transform one of our young actors into an older man. Yeah, um, so with an aging makeup, you always want to be careful that it doesn't look too theatrical, you know, for film. And so I wanted to make sure that I did age him in a way that was natural. Um, I didn't want to make his hair completely white. Um, we did use a spray, you know, to kind of gray him out, especially around the face. Um, and then with the use of some latex, I was able to create some wrinkles on his face, again, without the use of prosthetics or anything too extensive. Do you have any specific tips of like definitely do's and don'ts? I think a lot of it is just practice to kind of develop your own style. I think a lot of it too is being able to work on the spot. Um, when we actually shot that episode, I remember we were out like in the mountains and I was working out of my car and it was great for what it was because it was an awesome challenge, but it's it's things like that that I think you have to, you have to really be sure you have all the tools that you need in your kit. Even the things that you think you would need, something as simple as latex um, really goes a long way. I would say when you're defining the face, you know, make sure that you're not doing any harsh lines for the wrinkles. You are gonna make the lines. I always suggest tapping your finger over it to kind of fade it out. Um, I do believe I gave him some age spots as well. And again, if you don't fade those out, they kind of look like big freckles on the face. So always make sure that you know as a makeup artist less is more. But there was something so subtle that allowed the emotionality of the actor to come through in what you did. When he changed his voice. Rosemary. It was so cool also because that wasn't something that I think anyone was really pushing him to do. He kind of just came through with it and it, it totally transformed the character. That was such a cool transformation to watch. And also on that same episode, there was that moment that you, you worked on the actor's wrist to show an effect of him having cut himself in the bleeding. Can you talk a little bit about that and the placement of it? A lot of it was based on the angle of his arm and where gravity would have naturally pulled that blood. And so I remember distinctively having to place myself over him and literally wait until we were exactly ready to shoot to then start pouring the blood across his cut in time to move myself so that they could get the shot and watch kind of the natural drip of the flow. Um, it took us a few times to get it. When we did finally get it, um, the nature of the, of the formula of the blood kind of slowed down as it would if you were actually watching someone bleeding. And it was one of the coolest moments for me when I saw it. We pour this edit constantly, you know, as, as we were working on it. You hit this, his normal vein and the pulse that was coming out of his vein, it, it was just such a, a morbid but yeah. amazing effect moment where you're just like drawn into it. We love to watch it. And one important thing is like, just we're, to you mention- You make us sound so more, we love to <laughs> watch. I love watching the blood. <laughs> because like, you know, it's important to mention like when you are working mainly with like a really low budget or a really tight budget, the collaboration and how important every team member is. And one thing people need to, to know is like that the name of the game, the collaboration and the communication. Okay, so I wanted to do a little tutorial on a um, special effects look that I think can be used at any time on set. Um, a lot of times directors will come up with a last minute request and you just always have to be prepared. Um, I highly recommend carrying wax on you. This is a mortician's wax. Any wax will do. 
Um, it's great for creating uh, wounds of any kind. And so that's kind of what I wanted to show you today. So I'm gonna take this wax and I'm gonna kind of mold it and warm it up a little bit um, with my fingers. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna place it on my forehead. But then I'm gonna take my palette knife and I'm going to start to push down the edges. So now, <clears throat> we're going to paint the skin. I'm using an alcohol palette, okay? One of my favorite palettes. You can do so many things with this. I have my alcohol in the bottle. I'm going to give it a little spray, and I'm going to kind of create some redness and irritation around the skin. We're gonna add some depth to this wound by filling the inside of it with the black paint. Okay, so now we have some depth. Any thick blood will do. This one ha happens to be from Ben Nye. And for me, what the thick blood does, again, it adds texture. And so I'm gonna go in on my Q-tips Again, that's what we're working with here. You know, if you're working on a series for sake of continuity, I would ask, you know, if, if the weapon is present in the shooting of the film, ask what it is so that you know what size bullet hole to create. And you can always dab a little foundation in it too if you want to blend it a little bit more with the skin. Okay, so now what I want to do lastly Again, adding some depth, adding some structure. I'm going to take my brush and I'm gonna fleckle a little bit of the paint. Really get the brush wet, because it's a thick brush. Mixing up a bunch of colors, the red, the black. And I'm just gonna run my nail or my finger across it. And it's kind of like splatter painting in a sense. And last but not least, everyone's favorite effect, the blood dripping out of the hole. Red blood, real blood. So we just want to say uh, thank you so much to Rebecca um, to see all of her work um, and special effects work and makeup work. You can go to uh, www.rebeccateresa.com. Uh, it'll be a link in, underneath the video. Yeah, and then you could also obviously watch her work on In Absentia, and that's on inabsentia.tv, but we'll put all the links down here so you can visit Rebecca's work and her work on an absentia. And thank you so much, Rebecca. We love working with you, so thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me.